All right, in this example, we're going to find the x and y intercepts of an ellipse. And this is a, this is a problem that hopefully it won't be too terrible. So, um, again, all we're trying to do is just figure out where our ellipse, which is going to be, in this case, centered at the origin, where does it cross the x and y axis? So, um, I'm sure you've done this previously, you know, finding, uh, you know, for example, intercepts of lines or parabolas, and it's always the same same starting procedure. So uh, to find the x-intercepts, so to find the x-intercepts, we simply let y equal 0 and solve for x. Okay, so in this case, well, if y equals 0, we'll get, well, 0 squared over 400 plus x squared over 121 equals 1. Well, 0 squared 0 over 400 is still 0, so all we're really left with is going to be x squared over 121 equals 1. And now what I would simply do is multiply both sides by 121. So on the left side, we'll just be left with x squared equals 121. And now I would just take the square root of both sides. So when we take the square root of both sides, uh, on the left side we'll be left with x. And then we take, uh, don't forget to include your positive and negative, the square root of 121. And the square root of 121 is going to be 11. So it says the x-intercepts, uh, so the x-intercepts will be at the points 11, 0, and negative 11, 0. So those are our x-intercepts. And to do the y-intercepts, we simply do the same thing. Uh, well, I shouldn't say the same thing, but something similar, right? So to find the y-intercepts, we let, well, x equals 0, and then we solve for y. So just switch everything out. Okay, so if we let x equal 0, well then, hey, we've got y squared over 400 plus 0 squared over 121 equals 1. Same thing as before, uh, 0 squared over 121, uh, that's just going to be 0, so we can, in essence, just pretend it's not there. Hey, we've got y squared over 400 equals 1. Multiply both sides by 400. That'll give us y squared equals 400. Take the square root of both sides. Again, we'll include positive and negative, the square root of 400. And uh, let's see, I guess the square root of 400, to me, that looks like 20. So in this case, it says the y-intercepts will be at 0, comma 20 and also at 0, comma negative 20. So again, using the fact that we know that this ellipse is centered at the origin along with the y-intercepts and the x-intercepts, you could already make a, a pretty decent little rough sketch of your ellipse.